This topic may have been covered already or is very obvious to see, but for those who do not know, well, let's talk about this. So we both know at the end of Season 3, Beth and Jerry end up getting back together, and whether or not Jerry got back with a Beth clone or not, that's a different story. As for now, I'm going to assume that this is not a Beth clone solely for the fact of making this video easier to handle. Anyways, the question I have right now is, Beth and Jerry's relationship true love or failure to live alone? So let's look back all the way at season 1 where it seemed like the basic relationship going downhill. There were times where Beth and Jerry got with it, times where Beth and Jerry did not. Then season 2 was almost replicated with the premiere showing Jerry's love for Beth, and then there was that whole marriage council thing, but then near the end of season 2, uh, the Beth and Jerry were quite in arguments due to Jerry's unemployment. It was in season 3 where we started to see their tension rise and then finally break off with Jerry crawling back to Beth's arms and in return saying she'll never let him go. But then when Rick comes back, Jerry forces Beth to make a decision on who she would stay with. Does she want Jerry or does she want Rick? It turns out she values her father more mainly because he wasn't there for her for a long time and so she favored him more. Time goes by and we have solo episodes for both. We got the worldly Dirly conspiracy for Jerry and then the ABCs of Beth for Beth, and then partially Jerry as well. We learn that Jerry uses pity to lure his prey in so that he can latch onto them while they pity him. That's how we saw him, but near the end of the episode he slightly changes, but then kind of goes back to that form uh, in the ABCs of Beth and at the end of the season. Now with Beth and the ABCs of Beth, we realize her true daddy issues and how she felt alone and wanted to spend time with her father. Also in that episode is Jerry rebounding with a girl who was actually rebounding on him and so on and so forth. Victoria and Morty Day had Beth going back in the arms of Jerry after questioning if she was a clone or not. Jerry reenacts the moment they fell in love and it concludes with them ending up together again. Now clone or not, we can still ask if their relationship was true or a failure to live alone. The most obvious one I would say is that Jerry being single and alone again made him miserable, needy, attention seeking, and just depressed in a way. Not not the depressed as in the Rick's depression backstory video, but like upset, you know, sad. Anyways, Jerry being alone almost seems like to be quite pitiful, which brings us back to his main point that he lives off the pity. I mean, I am guilty for that because I did show lots of pity <clears throat> making a video on why Jerry is needed. It was the only way Beth and Jerry stayed for a while until Beth's father returned. This then made Jerry feel lower and bottom tiered, mistreated which also piled up on his loneliness. Now Beth on the other hand, she wasn't necessarily alone because even with Summer and Morty going back and forth father to mother, Beth still had Rick and she did her hobbies every now and then. What the real point we need to get to was her failure to be alone when her father isn't there. The ABCs of Beth explains that very well and goes into full detail on how Beth felt with her relationship with Rick. There was a contrast with characters like Tommy or Timmy or whatever the hump king was named where he got to spend time with his crazy father while Beth was given a magical chalk to a magical world. One side, even though with a crazy father, hump king still got time to spend time with his father. Did I? I think I fucked that up. Where Beth was given these cool things, but it wasn't enough to fulfill her needs as a child who needed her father. So, now with these points being said, it's safe to assume that Jerry isn't all too good alone, whereas Beth, she isn't good alone either, but she can cope with it. The only time it gets bad again is when her daddy issues return. But for the season finale, we get to see the two reunite and well, it looks like they're all diddly happy. So, my conclusion to this is maybe it is true love for them. Maybe they are meant to be for each other and have to function together because well, like some people are saying, season 3 was trash and so they are now family just like season 1. Or maybe I just said was complete bullshit and that is not true at all. As much as I want to believe that Jerry and Beth have true love, because no doubt they do have some sparks in there, I believe it is the failure to live life alone that makes them end up together again. It's like how one calms the other and vice versa. They need each other to survive and live a proper life, which keeps them as a functional family, which means it reverts them back to the season 1 times, as Beth would say. But this was just my opinion on it. There were some key parts like the marriage council thing, but I feel like that is justified already and wouldn't really count as much since the mid-season 2 to season 3 finale was mostly towards the divorce arc. Anyways, you're free to have your own opinion. I mean, all power to you. This is an open platform, right? So yeah. But those were my thoughts. You can agree. You can disagree. I just want to know if people are still here in the community. But that will be it for the video. Links to my social media and my store and my Patreon are down below. 
thank you to Juan and Finn for helping me produce this video and also thank you for 8,000 subscribers. We are only 2,000 subscribers away from our desired goal of 10,000 but it will be harder now since Rick and Morty has ended and the channel will slowly see growth once again we'll, we'll we'll be in a decline whatever you you already know the story whatever so but but that's it that's that's on that's gonna be later on so let's not worry about that hopefully you stick around for the new types of videos though check out some more videos on my channel and on the other ones my name is jay and i'll see you guys in another day